Hey, um, welcome to this tutorial. Um, today we're gonna talk about how to create grids and lines and hierarchy in um, Adobe Medium. Um, basically, this is how you make a straight line. It's pretty simple. You just need to click the line tool, um, and um, yeah, you could change your color, the color of your lines, and the shape and size of it and so on um, it's pretty simple you can also change the angle snap um, depending on what kind of angle you want you can see over here I'm kind of struggling and failing with it but yeah you can have like multiple different angles um, kind of multiple different angles you could choose from yeah and um, that's basically it <coughs> Um, so yeah, it's kind of what we're going to do. This is going to be the first part of maybe like two or three part series where, um, we talk about, uh, where we kind of take you through Adobe medium. We, we're going to go from lines to volumes, then maybe to surf some surfaces and surface manipulation. Um, over here, I just, um, opened up, um, mi the mirror tool. So so I can um, make a rectangular box um, to get everything started. Um, you can see me struggle a little bit, <coughs> fail with it, because I realized, because um, I didn't realize that the angle tool was still set on 75 degrees, I think, so it wasn't really going straight and wasn't really turning out, but, but I eventually figured out it was <laughs> on 75 degrees, so wasn't like crazy or anything but yeah um, you can see here I'm just making a rectangle um, it's pretty s simple we could make a rectangle and um, from there you could then start making <coughs> making extrusions and solids and stuff or, or kind of like try to um, sketch out solids, right? Um, sketching out kind of blo um, or blobbing out the kind of shape that you want. Uh, I have no idea what I'm designing <laughs> at the moment, but um, for me, I guess um, kind of just going with the flow since there isn't any program or architectural brief that I have to do, but I guess in your, in most of your cases, you'll have um, some plans were architectural brief um, you can reference from and um, do uh, over here I'm just um, kind of dividing <coughs> dividing the uh, the shape into to more segments so I can kind of manipulate it a little bit more and see kind of what it turns out into um, yeah Yep, um, so the next kind of part is kind of boring, so I'm not going to uh, waste your time. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I'll meet back with you uh, once we get into something a little bit more interesting. This is just me dividing <laughs> blocks into different shapes. All right, <laughs> enjoy.
All right, you're gonna see me struggle a little bit here because I realize I made the lines a little bit too thin. Um, so from from this moment on, I'm gonna start uh, defining the lines a little bit, thickening them up a little bit, so you can see more clearly um, where my edges are, or where my edges are going to be in this building, and just defining it just a teeny tiny bit more. Um, kind of realizing I, I overcompensated a little bit <laughs> over here again so <laughs> you can see me start to delete it um, delete some of the lines and start over um, kind of defining it with this nice balance um, which, which I think works well um, in this kind of model um, yeah anyways I'm gonna speed this thing a little, a little bit more, and get back to you to another part where I think it might be a bit more interesting. You'll see me um, adding some questionable skylights over here. Um, normally, you probably wouldn't want to add skylights like this, um, but um, this is just to show that um, you can start to think about uh, features like skylights, apertures, uh, windows, doors, and so on. Um, even at this point of the design process where you're just kind of sketching out the building. Um, but uh, I think it's a great thing to do even if um, you're not going to keep it at the end. Uh, I, I decided to keep it because I think um, it's, it's a nice, unique feature to this building. And um, uh, to be honest, there, <laughs> there isn't really much. <laughs> um, else other than that so yeah i'm gonna have to keep it <laughs> all right uh, i'll meet you guys back in a bit um with something more interesting All right, so we're back again. Um, you see me here making a new layer. Um, um, I guess I'm kind of done at this point with the base layer of um, sketch. So I'm going to start a new layer, kind of blocking out the more important lines and where um, I think the buildings are. I like to do it in pink just because it's, it's it's so bright and it's so different from the gray, um, but you can choose any color you like, um, any size you like. I like it to be a bit thicker, so once I kind of get into um, 
the volumes and I start blocking out with the volumes I can still sort of see it underneath um, and work with it as as need be but keep in mind this is an under sketch anyways um, so yeah don't don't worry too much about it <laughs> I'll meet you guys back uh, once I'm done with this um, pink under sketch Um, so the uh, pink under sketch is done. Um, normally at this point I would start kind of blocking out with volumes and start working with volumes. Um, that's just how I work. Um, I, I just like working with volumes a lot more than working with grids and kind of sketching with the grids. Um, but since this video is about grids, um, I kind of force myself to put a little bit more detail on it you can see me adding kind of details for skylights and all that um, at a certain point you would want to stop with the grid just because um, you would have to then model it all over again with volumes but but yeah um, you know if, for people with more patience uh, I would suggest you kind of figure everything out with grids um, and so on but I'm not that kind of person, so yeah, um, I'll meet you guys back um, once I'm done with some of the details, and um, yeah, let's look at the final result. So um, yeah, this is kind of the end of the video. Um, I ended up adding some more defining lines uh, that might help me out um, later on when I'm kind of working with the volumes. Yeah, just so I can know what, what kind of edges um, um, I need to keep, which edges are super important and which ones I need to define. Um, it might 
not like matter in the end but i guess um it's kind of how i work um i like to just have it so just in case i need it i still have it uh, and i don't have to like redo it um i find it easier to like figure out which edges are more important when you're kind of in this under sketch and you're working with it but yeah anyways this is the end of the video um yeah let me know what you guys think of it um, whether or not um, it was helpful um yeah see you guys next video